Hello guys and welcome to a new Yaltas AGV vlog. Today we will be talking about maintenance research in Massey Ferguson tractors. And the reason why we have chosen this brand, Massey Ferguson, is because this manufacturer has a specific system, an electronic system, where these key resets are included. Let's have a look. If you look at the screen right now, you see here the agricultural module. So of course we select agricultural vehicles. Then we need to select the brand that we want to work with. In this case, it's going to be Massey Ferguson. Note that we cover up to 64 brands right now. And one of them is going to be Massey Ferguson. We click on that. And now we just need to select first the series and then the model of the tractor that we want to work with. Let's say, for instance, that we're working with the 700 series and with this 5700 Dyna 4 series. Click on that. And now we can see on this screen all the systems that we covered for this particular tractor, Massey Ferguson 5700 Dyna 4 Series. We covered the engine, hydraulic systems, instrument cluster, transmission, and here it is, the maintenance system. As we said before, this is something pretty specific on the Massey Ferguson as manufacturer that has this um, maintenance system where we can find some specific functionalities related with the maintenance of the tractor. Also, we do have here a maintenance resets shortcut where we can access directly to the main key resets on these Massey Ferguson tractors. For instance, if we click on the first one, the interval of the engine oil change, we're going to be able to reset the counters in the tractor. So basically, once we have changed the oil on this tractor, in this 5700 Dyna 4 series tractor, we're going to be able to perform a reset of the counters on the, on the instrument cluster. Here, we give you the instructions about the action you're about to perform. So the, this reset must be performed whenever the user wants to restart the periodic maintenance counters. Then we'll click on check. And as simple as this, we are going to be able to reset those values. Of course, here we provide you some information, the remaining time for the oil change, and also if these oil change is required or not required. Once we are done, we click on the check mark, and we would be completing this action. A part of this one, we have some other functionalities that we can have a look at. Okay. So basically, if we select the maintenance system, we can connect to the specific system and we're going to see some other maintenance options that we have available on this Massey Ferguson tractor. So here we click on maintenance. We are going to see, for instance, the instrument cluster maintenance interval, the engine system maintenance interval, or a third option that could be a mix between the, the two mentioned before, the maintenance interval and the engine system maintenance interval uh, in the instrument cluster. So engine system and inter instrument cluster. We can click on that one and exactly the same thing. As simple as we showed you before with the, with the other action, we read the instructions, we click on check and we would be completing the action. Finally, but not least important, we do have some other maintenance options. So if we come back to the model and connect specifically to the engine system, we will find here the full diagnostics menu. Of course, as we always do, we will find here the read fault codes. We're gonna be able to clear fault codes, system data, monitor live data selection, actuate components, system check-ins, parameters. We do have a data recorder. And here in maintenance is where we are gonna find some other key maintenance options. Clicking on that, we can see some of these capabilities. And just to mention one, this would be one of the most important, the pressure relief valve reset. We can click on the action. We provide you the instructions about the action we are about to perform. 
So here, Yaltas informs you that this PRV valve, this pressure relief valve, performs the fuel pressure relief in the ejection rail, automatically being activated if there is an overpressure. So basically, when the valve opening cycle counter reads its maximum value, the valve must be replaced. And here it is when we need to perform this maintenance reset. After reading this information, we click on check and we should be ready to perform the following action. The reset of the PRV, PRV valve. Click on check. And again, we should be all set. Right now, we were talking about these maintenance options on a 5700 Dynas 4 Series tractor. But if we want to work on any other Massive Ferguson, we could do and we, could, we will find exactly the same options. For instance, let's say we are working with another 700 series, but this time it's not going to be the one we connected before. And we are working with a 7700S series. We click on the tractor. And here there are the, the same options that we showed you before for the, for the other tractor. We have the shortcuts for the maintenance resets. And even if we want to connect directly to the maintenance systems, we could do that and perform exactly the same actions as we showed you before. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please thumbs up. Thank you for watching.